My name is Emanuela and welcome to my channel Emphasis on Style. This channel focuses on all things fashion, both high and low, and beauty with a little bit of home um, decor and children sprinkled in. Today's video is focused on the unboxing of my new Valentino Rock Stud bag. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. So here's my bag. <laughs> Whew, I'm super excited. Um, so the story behind this bag is my best friend and I took a trip to Woodbury Commons, which is um, a massive, massive outlet shopping mall outside of New York City in the Central Valley area of New York. <clears throat> it is beautiful, it's amazing, and it has all your favorite stores. Everyone from literally Express <laughs> to Loewe and Itro and everything in between. It was an amazing day. I have not been in a really, really long time and it was really nostalgic for us because we used to take this trip once a year um, in high school and college to do back to school shopping. And this was kind of like us reliving those days, except with slightly bigger budgets and <laughs> definitely bigger purchases than we've made in the past. So anyway, so we went into the Valentino store there and um, fell in love. Both she and I both got bags while we were there. Um, so I'm sharing with you my purchase today. So since this was the outlet, we do not get uh, we do not get boxes with our bag, but. Um, gonna open this up and show you so it comes with the dust bag which is awesome right and it has a little Valentino um, emblem here the dust bag is linen and you open it up I'm so excited okay so I absolutely fell in love with the bag as soon as I saw it because as much as I have a decent bag collection I don't have many black bags I absolutely have nothing with gunmetal or silver hardware so that definitely sold me the other thing about this bag that I really 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 truly loved was the size of it I don't like the micro bag trend the mini bag trend I am a working professional I have two children I use my bags I wear my bags and they need to function so this definitely looked like it could hold everything and I'll show you everything I can put into it um, the other things about this bag that I want to highlight is it has this amazing um, top handle which I love because I love to do a forearm moment with my bags. It also comes with a chain strap, which is, it comes already sort of like doubled over, which I appreciate because I'm not the girl who does a crossbody. I'm not the crossbody lover, never have been, and I don't think I ever will be. But I do realize that uh, there are those moments where having a crossbody is more functional. So, you know, I've adopted that in recent years, but it's just simply stunning. And I'm so excited to have it in my collection. I'm just glad to have it. I'm taking out the stuffing right now, which is a lot. Stuffing. Um, and the interior is suede all around from top to bottom and then it's got this really nice large pocket here so I'm gonna fill the bag and show you all the things that it can hold before that though, I want to also highlight the fact that this bag is extremely versatile. Um, while I'm not going to do this, I will share with you that both the chain strap and the top handle are removable from this bag, 
which I think is awesome because you can essentially then take this and convert it to a clutch, which also is something I'm really into. Oversized clutches I think are really functional for um, an evening dinner date or just dinner with your girls. I think that's also nice. So the functionality of this bag I think is amazing. I also love the fact that it's gunmetal. Um, the studs are gunmetal because I feel like the gold trend even though we loved gold and we're not getting re we're not really ready to let it go i think the fashion world is telling us that silver um is due for a comeback and i think gunmetal will be a great way to kind of ease into that bright silver that i think is really on the horizon okay so i wanted to take a moment to read to you the stats on this bag at the outlet it was half off the width of the bag is 12.2 inches and the height of the bag is 7.9 inches and the depth of the bag is three and a half inches which for me was key in my decision was really the size of the bag and how much it could hold i feel like this bag could probably hold one of the newer size um ipads i don't have one but i would not be surprised if it could but i will take you through right now and show you all the things i can put in this bag so this is the bag completely empty without a single piece of stuffing or anything in it. I'm going to walk you through right now all the things that I can fit in here. And we're gonna do this together. I haven't put anything in this bag yet. I haven't used this bag yet. I'm just super um, excited to be doing this with you guys. The first thing I'm putting in here is my Dior wallet. It's a full-size wallet with credit cards. Um, cash, coins, and even a full-size checkbook. Yes, that dates me, but as I get older, I realize you never know when you need a checkbook, so there you go. I have a pair of 54 or 58 centimeter um, sunglasses from Gucci. I wear my sunglasses all year round, so bags I carry need to be able to hold a pair um, of course I need to put my keys in here yes my keys are ginormous this is the old um, I think this is Jimmy Choo or Christian D or a little um, trinket that I put on my keychain um, I know it's big but I'm always losing my keys always so just put it in there then I have my cell phone yes this is the iPhone 12 Pro so I'm gonna put it in here I have a um, Blotterazzi from Beauty Blender I keep this in my purse because it makes melting my foundation together especially when it starts to break up around my um, smile lines it makes that a lot easier i have a little hand sanitizer in a day in which we live we need to carry one of these all around all, with us at all times so <laughs> mine is from bath and body works it's the french vanilla scent and i'll just put it in here i keep a little mini perfume with me this is um ysl's mon paris and I also have a YSL lip balm. They've discontinued this. I'm devastated, but I love it to death. It's very nourishing and um, sheer, and the packaging just can't be beat. I have also a hand cream. Um, this is the Kiehl's um, Richly Hydrating Hand Cream in the Grapefruit Scent. This smells really good and it really does moisturize and nourish my hands with all the um, washing, etc. that we're doing these days. This is super handy. And I finally have my card case, which I will not open because it has a lot of personal information in here. But what I tend to carry in here is my work ID, my um, MetroCard in case of emergencies, and my um, state ID. So those things are easily accessible and grabbable to me. I don't need to open up my whole big wallet to shovel my bag 
um, to get out those pertinent things that I'm constantly reaching for throughout the day. So I will show you what all of that looks like in here right now. And I'm going to close it up. That closed up without any issues. And now let's see how it hangs. I think that looks pretty good. There's a little bit of sagging here, but nothing that I find to be problematic, to be quite honest with you. If the sagging bothers you, what I would recommend is that you take one of the pieces of stuffing that came with the bag, um, wrap it inside of the dust bag, so, you know, it doesn't look crazy if you have to enter your bag or open up your bag for any reason and just put it at the top to just help keep its shape. Um, and then once you've done that, then close it back up and now you don't have the sagging issue. And for me, as I mentioned before, this is how I carry my bags. So this is how I will be carrying it is either a top handle like this or like this. Um, and maybe if I'm really tired, you know, I'll get a moment where I'm doing the short strap instead of the long strap. But this is what it looks like completely filled and stuffed. I um, am a person who wears my bags when I have them. I don't um, buy my bags with the intention of reselling and holding on to value, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I get my cost per wear out of my bags, and that's one of the reasons I chose this particular bag. Um, it has the um, crinkled um, leather, so it's already almost sort of like distressed in a way, um, which I think will make it easier to wear and easier to love. Um, and, and quite frankly abused because that's what I do to my bags. Not intentionally, but you know, I'm popping in and out of cars, popping in and out of the train, the subway, you know, on coats, on jeans, on what have you. I throw my bag on based on my outfit. And you know, if I'm wearing the same bag for three weeks in a row, then I'm wearing the same bag three weeks in a row. So, you know, I, I, I use them, I love them, I go through them, and at the end of a period, they do end up looking a bit worn, and I'm hoping that this one will be able to handle that a little bit better than some of the other bags in my collection. That said, um, I want to say thank you so much to those of you that have stuck around long enough for us to get here to the end of the video. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, this is my first video, so I would love for you to consider subscribing and becoming a member of my channel and um, taking this YouTube journey with me. So thank you for your time. Thank you for having and have an, a blessed day.